We thank you at a time and hour like this. We thank you for the fifth day of our fasting and prayer program. Thank you for all you have done so far and that which you are here to do. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. Father, in heaven we have come again before you as Mary did, to hear from you and not from her. That is why, Lord, I step out that you step in. I step down that you step up. I decrease that you increase. And speak by yourself to me and to your children that at the end, O oh God, our lives will not remain the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father in heaven, I bring myself before you. I beg you, Father, search me if there is any error in me. The Bible says, if I said I have not seen a lie, and your truth is not in me, who am I to make you a liar? For this, I beg you to forgive me all my sins, wash me with your blood, and everyone here, in case as the message is going on, if rapture take place, none of us will be left behind. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In this Lord, we all hid ourselves in your blood and remain in it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father, because every heart has been declared subject to you alone. Distraction of all kind, confusion of all kind, I be rebuked in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank you because it is done. Thank you, Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 35. Romans 8, I read verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can see in this place, by the grace of God, what Paul was describing. If you find out very well, he almost described the whole situation that faced man in life. And that is why the topic before me and you says, have you made up your mind? Have you made up your mind? Have I made up my mind to serve this God, to follow him in every condition you will find yourself? Because no wonder the Bible tells me and you, or in another hand, because of all this, that is why we must all know that none of us here in Martin Solution and the National Prime Ministry and every other churches all over the world or no man on earth have any reason to give up on God. Why? Because of the book of Hebrew chapter 12, verse 1. I said again, no man, no and myself, no man living on living in this world have no have any reason to say, I will not serve this God again. Because if you do, what Hebrew chapter 12, verse 1 said, we come all. And if he come up and you do not pass the exam, 
you will be the one to judge yourself then. The Bible is telling me today, what is that thing, something that wants to separate you from the love of God? Is it tribulation now that you see around you? That Paul, who is in heaven, do not see when he was on earth? What is that thing that wants to separate you now? Is it distress around you that Peter in heaven now did not see? What is that thing that wants to separate you from the love of Christ? Is it persecution? That those saints, uh, 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 Jeremiah and so on and so on, that are living in heaven now do not see? Or oh, famine? Is it that is it because of hungry or whatever that want to make it to pack up now? That those in heaven do not pass through? If you come to the, the aspect of famine, somebody like Lazarus will rise up and tell you, I was even feeding at, at the table of a rich man. And up to the extent, if I am feeding it, something animal, not somebody like me now, will also be feeding on me. If you come to nakedness, somebody will come up. It was a man that did what? Only naked for many years to do the work of God. That one we stand. Is it Perry or Sword? Peter died. When they, according to what we understand, when they want to kill him, they didn't say, No, I will, I don't, I will not die again. You only tell them, don't, don't do to me what you did to my master. Have you made up your made up your mind to serve this God, no matter the condition that comes your way? Have I made up my mind to hold on to this God in every condition and situation that comes around me? It's a question mark. If you find it, if you look at the topic very well, it's a question the Lord is asking me now. And the Lord is asking you now, have you made up your mind to follow me no matter what comes your way? It's a decision. I find that something in this heavenly race that is a matter of decision. The Bible tells me that uh, Daniel, he proposed, that is, he decided, I will not do this. I will not. Why are we saying this now? Because I, go, I, I, I believe God wants me to understand something. Because I don't know what will become the world after now. There's a parable in my, in, in my, in my town that said before rain starts raining, you prepare ground for it. The de decision to follow Christ must be now, not tomorrow. Because if, if you say you want to wait for tomorrow, you don't, you don't know where the, the, the tomorrow will come before you are, your departure. And when you depart, you are still waiting, thinking of what, how to, whether to decide to follow this God. And anything happen, what will become of you? That is the question. Have I made up my mind to follow God? See what the, uh, in the book of Job, Chapter nine, I mean chapter two. Let's quickly read nine to ten. Job chapter two, nine to ten. He said, "Then said his wife unto him, the thou still retain thy integrity, cause God and thou, with all the situation that have come upon you, with all that have before you, can't you see how your children, all of them, collapse in a day? Everything you have." Everything finished in a day. Are you still holding on to this God that you, you have been following? Wow, what can't you see? There is no good thing that comes from God, but He's, he's called God and die. This God 
God is not, is not to be followed anymore. It's a God that is to be followed when things are good. When situations are okay. When enjoyment is everywhere. When things come the other way. You also vacay. You also what? Be, go, to, go on holiday. And Job said to him, A man who know that this God uh, a man who, 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 who wants to prove to his wife that it's not now that you see things happening, that I already decide. It's not now you see things around me like this. It's not now I made up my mind to follow this Christ. But he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. What does that mean? When you said you, you speak like a foolish person, what does that mean? It means anybody who knows God when he, things are okay and when things are in another way around, he pack up and start complaining and start saying God is no more alive. It's a foolish word, person. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's telling you, yeah, you are, it's, it's making you to know is telling you directly, not indirectly, that you are foolish for you to know that God is God when food is on your table. And he said to her, ah, What shall we receive good at the hand of God? And shall we not receive evil? In all the, the job, see, which is the not do see with his lips. Many people garment of salvation as be abandoned. That is the situation. That is the truth of the matter. They have prayed for, for child for 20 years. It's not forthcoming. They drop their garment of salvation and begin to look for situations elsewhere. Ah, they have prayed for husband for how many years? Pray for document for how many years? It's not forthcoming. They have dropped their garment of salvation. And the that is that what no uh, I just I just want to give break. Give break because things are turned around now. Have I made up my mind to follow this God? I want to ask you this and ask myself, what are we? living for without Christ? What are we living for without holiness and righteousness? You are not crying because you have sinned against God. I am not crying because I have offended God, but I am crying because I have no document. Am I not a foolish person? Yes. In that way. When I offend God, I take it as normal. The thing that will condemn my soul, the document that will not condemn my soul that is of worldly, I am crying for that. Crying over that God I have served for 20 years. I had look at that person that just came that day, is having his document, but myself I have no. But when you sin against God, you just you laugh. You do not, you do not touch your mind to cry that way. That is to say, anytime. Let me refer it to myself. Anytime I sin against God, I take it lightly. But when food is not there for me to eat, and I begin to cry, I am so foolish. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am so foolish to, 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 to forget the one that is capable of destroying me completely. I'm, full, I'm crying over what we only destroy my flesh. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Look, look at Job also in that Job chapter 1, verse, verse, uh, verse 21 to 22. Job chapter 1, 21 to 22. As we, why? Because of time, is, I know many of us, we know the story. How, what bef before him for one day? His children, his cattle, his riches, everything that Job had, everything collapsed. And when they brought the report to him, Look at what Job said in all. I want us to read from verse 20. 
When Job looked at everything, what has before him in a day, he said of it to be said, God, you are no more God. Where are you? It's, it, it, the Bible says in verse 21, then Job arose when he had heard the old news now. Yeah, I, I start from verse 20. The Bible says, then Job arose. And Cecilia uh, came. Paul came. John came. And Job, your house that you built in that fire, Joshua, all of them just collapsed. And James came from the other hand. Your children that was playing in that playground, they are all dead. And Michael came from the other side. And your, your, those, your business, that your stock, it caught fire right now. And though after listening to all their, their report, what did he say? He said, then Job arose and read his mantle and shaved his head. And fed down upon the ground and do what? Cause God. Hey God, you are no more God anymore. Ah God, you 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 I you, you are a wicked one. No, but the Bible says Job worship. He worship God. And in verse 21, I said, Nikah came I out of my mother's womb. And Nicholas and I returned in that the Lord gave and the Lord had taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In all yeah. these jobs, say not and chide not God foolishly. How many times you and I have we chide God foolishly because of what we are in need of that does not come to us? How many, if, if we want to count how many times we have chide God foolishly? God, eh, ah, is it like this? It, uh, the worst of all, we see what the uh, man of God, the Lord, revealed to him the other day. We are thinking that without us, work of God cannot go on anymore. That is, many, that is the thought of many of us. Why did I say so? Many people, have, many children of God are so fast. To begin to count what they have done doing for God. God, you know, I traveled the other day to America to evangelize. <laughs> and God, you know, the other day I stayed on under the ray and I was talking about you. And the other day I prayed all night. All that we are sleeping, <laughs> but Lord, I was awake. The other day, I only only me one did the first thing. Can't you see? I am the only one who swear the church yesterday. We are counting it as if God does not know everything. Because of what situation? Have you made up your mind? Because if you have made up your mind, things will come around you. You may be sad, but there is no time you will judge God and start complaining, God, you are no more God anymore. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have you and I made up our mind to follow this God no matter the condition. It's a question that I need to ask myself. Because many of us thought that this world is our own. So anything of this world, if it was not God to me, God to you, we, uh, God, are no, God is no more God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the book of Dale, chapter 3, look at the people who have made up their mind in every condition. When that is dead, it's no more their business. Because the decision was taken before the, the Sunday arrived. What happened? In the book of Daniel chapter 3, we read from verse 16 to, uh, 16 to 18. The Bible says, in verse 16, Daniel 3, 16, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, Oh, Nebuchadnezzar. Oh, situation. Oh, barrenness. I paraphrase. Oh, document. Oh, wife. Oh, husband. Oh, children. Oh, uh, walk. We are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fury, fullness. And he will deliver us 
Out of thy hand, O king. Listen, look at the decision now. Look, see what we tell you the decision they have already took before. If we read for that. In verse 17, if be so, I mean 18, but if not, if it, 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 it please God for us to die today, if it please God for us to leave this world today, it's not my, it does, I, I will not work. I will not obey your voice. And our God will, I mean, but be it no unto thee. But if not, be it no unto thee, O King Nebuchadnezzar, whole situation. That we will not say that God no worship the God, the God that God, the God image we thou has set up. How many of us? Many of us have worshipped the God image of Notorious. Many of us have let God and bow down to that situation. And bow down to things that come around. Many of us we have tried God's foolishly so many times because the sickness i have prayed i have prayed the sickness still remain there god is no more god anymore have you made up your mind because as i just said by the grace of god i come to understand that it's a decision it's a decision and the decision need to come from your heart the decision came you see, these people know that they, they, they already know a body fire. It's not a joke. It's not that they, they are just threatening there. And they know that Bokneza very well that he will do what he say. But it was not their concern. Because they prefer, according to arm robbers at times when they come to steal people, your life or your money. They tell the Bokneza, and we are not careful. To answer you in this manner. Have you told that situation? That condition? We are not careful to answer you. Have we told situation, those situations where we are supposed to be telling situation whenever it comes away? You came so late. Nebuchadnezzar Shedrak and Abednego make Nebuchadnezzar, I mean, uh, Shedrak, Meshach, and Abednego make Nebuchadnezzar to understand that he came late. Somebody has already taken the seat he wants to take now. Somebody has already occupied the seat that you are about to, you want to take. If that you came on time, you would have had it. But at uh, this time, the door is already shut. I am, it cannot be open for you anymore. It's irreversible. I cannot open for you anymore. Somebody is occupying that space now. So, have they locked up the door? Have we locked up the door? But many a time we open the door and say, God is no more God. Evangelism that I used to do, God, I will not do it again. I don't have food in the. If I even go, if I come back, what will I eat? And you pack your banner and your track, you keep it in the drawer. And you thought you are serving God. Have you made up your mind to serve this God? Look at what Paul, look at what Paul said to me and you. In that same Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8. Let's read verse, verse 36. Romans chapter 8, verse 36. It said, from verse 36. He said, as it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. It, uh, Christian, listen to this. We are supposed to know it's not now we die. Every true Christian, you must supposed to know that it's not now you, you are dead. You are just talking. You are already dead. Look at what he said. He said, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. We are already accounted as a sheep for the slaughter. Therefore, we are not supposed to deny this God for any situation. 
And the Bible tells me in 37, lay in all these things we are more than conquerors through he that love us through the power of Christ. And verse 38, for I am persuaded. Are you persuaded, sister? Ah, brother, are you persuaded that when the situation comes, you will not drop your cross? Many of us, listen to this, many of us, our cross is not shortened. And we better go back to Christ to that one we cut away to help us to attach it again. Because if not, when the bridge you are right the bridge, you can no longer cross it. You will not be able to cross it, cross it because that is the that is the cross that you support, that, that you are going to put across the that river to climb to the other side. But because of situation, many of us have cut our, our cross. And the Bible tells me, are you? For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creator shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. It, is, it, it has closed everything. What else? At the end, we see the decision that Paul said here. We see at the end where he said, I have fought the faith now. What I, is now left for me? It's for me to be crowned. Have you fought the faith? Will you, will you be a model that we say, I have fought the faith now? I have fought the good fight of it. Will you be a model that will fight the good fight of it? The decision is now. Have you made up your mind? Do you know why? I myself, I must be ready. After the message. If you are a monk, you must be ready. Because you must be trying. We must be trying now. You that is there hearing me, I, the Lord is using to say what I'm saying. I should be ready. Because, as I normally tell people, a Christian is not know just like this. A Christian know when situation comes up. Don't call, I, let me use myself. I should not call myself a type of God, a born again Christian, when not everything is when everything is going smoothly. When things come, or somebody, I mean, or in another way, don't think I am a humble person. Don't think I don't know how to talk when nobody has come to step on my toe. When somebody, you see that it, uh, I'm, a, I'm sitting on my own, uh, and, uh, holiness going on and uh, step on my foot, that is when you will know who I am. As I say, Christianity is not no like this. It's no at the time of situation. At the time of condition, at the time of trial, no matter who you are, even though I am carrying big Bible, does not tell that I am a child of God. What we test is when that little trial, temptation will come. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. What is that that wants to separate me and you from the love of Christ? Paul said in the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 20, Acts of Apostles. 20, I read 24. He said, out of Apostle 20, 24, but none of these things move me. Neither can my life dear unto myself. The problem we have is this. We are counting our life so dear to us. Until me and you count our life no, no more dear to us. We will deny Christ. Will we allow situation to start making us to complain? Mama, I grumbling. He said, he said, I neither cut my eye, my life, dear unto myself. Sister, that is what we need to do now. Brother, that is what we need to do now. Not to cut our life against dear again. Let us see ourselves already a dead person. Only living, that is why I said, the life I live now, I live what? For, I live it for Christ. 
And he said, so that I might finish my course with joy and the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus to testify the gospel of the grace of God. This is it. Not whether food is on the table, not whether uh, that uh, 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 there is document, not whether the husband wife have been looking for or the fruit of the womb have been looking for. Not that one was his problem. What was his problem is how to finish the ministry. How, do you know that every one of us we have ministry? How to give the account I will give to God? That is what I should be thinking. When I shall appear before Him, what will be my account? That is, that is what should be my concern. Will there be error that we make? Kato said, depart. You are faithful servant. That should be my concern. Not situation, sisters. Not situation, brethren. And the Bible says, in that same book of Acts of Apostle 20, I mean 21, let us read this. Look at what he said. I quickly want to read verse 11 to 13. And when he was come, out of Apostle 21, 11 to 13, and when he was come unto us, he took Paul's dido and burned his, his own hands and feet and said, Thus said the Holy Ghost, so shall the Jews at Jerusalem bind this, the man that honeth this dido and shall deliver him into the hands of the Gentiles. 12. And when we have these things, both we and they of that place, be such him not to go up to Jerusalem. See what the man who have made this, who have already two decisions before these people start doing what they are doing. He said in verse 13, Then Paul answered, What mean ye to weep and to break my heart? For I am ready not, oh, not to be bound only, but also to die. At Jerusalem, for the name of the Lord Jesus. You see, somebody who have already made up his mind. Before these people start, say, hey, don't go. He already made up his mind. He's, he have already signed his death. Before they start saying this and that, he already signed his death. His death certificate was already signed, but these people do not know. Have you signed your own? Have I signed your own? Have I signed my own? Have you did yours? Because if, if you have not, if I have not, let's do it now. Because as I said before, many have left their garment of salvation. They thank God that we are still alive. Who are those who have not made up their mind? Are those when anything happens, they will start complaining. They will be murmuring, God, mm, God, mm. oh, when you are a grumbler because of situation, murmuring and so on and so forth, it, the, 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 the truth of the matter is that you have not made up your mind. But when you have made up your mind, whether your husband is, he, 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 is not forthcoming, Maybe the man of God has said, hey, don't worry, God will bring your husband and uh, uh, it's not forthcoming for now. You, when, you don't live a sad life. Because many of us, when a, 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 a prophecy will come, we will say, we'll be saying amen after some time. We'll, be say, we'll still be saying amen. But you will see the, the inner man, what yeah, is a... Uh, I, 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 I don't know how to describe it. That is not the life of a Christian. If you have taken your decision and to run it up, brethren, the Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians chapter 2, 11, because of that we read only two verse 25 and verse 27. 2 Corinthians 11, 5, uh, 25 and 27. He said in verse 25, Christ was I beaten with wrong. Upon this, Paul do not give up. Once was I stoned, 
they stole him. He still don't give up because this decision has been take, taken before they start stolen him. Christ, I suffer shipwreck. He still don't give up. A night and a day have been in the deep. He still don't give up. In 27 now, in weariness and painfulness, in washing of them, in hunger. And test in fasting often, in cold and nakedness. Tell me, me and you now, let's judge ourselves with this. Is there any of all that such have happened to? But this man still hold on to his, his, his God. But one of these happened to me and you, we start complaining. Sisters, Martin of Solution Edition Primacy World War, and those that are hearing. Us are there. Have you made up your mind? And say, come son, come reign. Jesus Christ, you are God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. There is a song that said, if rain is raining, I will follow Jesus Christ. If sun is shining, I will follow Jesus Christ. It does not really mean the rain, rain, or this song. It means situation. Condition, things that will come up. Are you sure you have made up your mind? If you have not, there's chance for me now to make up my mind. Today is your day also to make up your mind and say, Christ, I drop everything now and I am married to your cross. I will not, my eye will not be open again to what will come around me. I want to be seeing the cr your cross story from today. I don't want to be seeing situation. Father, blink my eye to every condition, situation that want to make me to lose my integrity, that want to make me to lose my focus on you. Blindfold my eyes and let my eye be open unto that day. The Bible says to me and you, eyes have not seen, behold those things that God has prepared for us in heaven. Father, those things that you prepared for me in heaven. Lord, let my eye be seeing those things and no situation anymore. In the same way, beg God for mercy. If you know you have been denying him one way or the other. If you know you have caused him in so many ways, you have called him foolish, foolish God. Tell God, Father, have mercy on me before you start praying the other prayer. Open your mouth and pray if you understand in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. 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 Lastly, I want me and you to pray. I say, God. If you really you are sure of it, I say, God, I have decided today. If I have not decided since, I have decided today, I have made up my mind. Lord, let my eyes now be close to situation, to be close to the things around me and be open to the promise you promised me. Be open to that that you have prepared for me in heaven. 
Open your mouth and pray if you understand in the name of Jesus Christ. before I pray, I want to say this. It's not to, it's not to exhort anybody. I want us to understand what we are saying. Remember some time ago, the man of God said something. That when he and his son, his son was, was sick, they took him to the hospital. And that day there was a, there, there is there was he was having a meeting, just as we are now. And what happened? The enemy were waiting for him to abandon his God that day. But because he, his eye was blindfolded to that situation around him that day and go to his father's work, the enemy were lamenting. That is the same thing. The Lord is saying, if you want your enemy to lament, if you want the enemy to fail, your eyes need to abandon those things and say, God is between me and you. Not between me and those situations. Not between me and those conditions. Are you out there? You are, born again. you are not born again. You are not giving your life to Christ. Before you can decide this, you have to first of all decide to follow Christ. Because it's in here we have the power to make the decision and follow it up. Why not surrender yourself to Christ now and let him shine upon you? As you do that, please confess your sin. Give your life, surrender him, call him to invite him to your life. And I know as you do, he will answer you. And also, you don't have to stop there. You need baptism. And if you need, you need counseling or you want the man of God of this money to to do the baptism for you, please can be call on them. And the Lord is, we use them, I know this. I trust God for this, that he will use them mightily to assist you. Also, you are, are you um, here hearing me? You know you have caused God so many times. Your integrity has been lost. Your garment of salvation, you have dropped it because of murmuring, complaining, and grumbling. Remember what destroyed the Israelites. It was murmuring, complaining, and grumbling. Tell God now that you still have life and say, Father, I am sorry. I'm, I need my garment of salvation back. And as you do so, the Lord will do it. It will restore that thing you have lost as we pray together. And so, Father, in heaven, I thank you for your word. Thank you for the life of your children who has just given their life to you now, who have surrendered their life to you, that have decided to leave situation alone and hold up to your the, the cross. We will put them, Lord, in your mercy, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Of us that have dropped our garment of salvation before, I plead for mercy. Have mercy, O Christ, and restore our garment of salvation to us, God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Come before us after now, because you of this message, I pray for the grace, O oh God, to enjoy it. And let your name be glorified at the, at the end. In the name of Jesus Christ, have I had it to your word? Amen. Or subtracted? I am sorry. Is there anyone that is that was angry? Baba, I plead for mercy. Remember, we all know not what we are doing. Please forgive us and wash us with your precious blood. May this day not stand against any of us at the last day. But prepare us for your kingdom. 
In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us give a clap of hope to Jesus Christ and not to man. Thank you. Amen. 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 Amen.